18 years ago in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, childhood friends Adisu Demisi and Junaid Sendi could have never imagined that one day they would be performing in one of the most prestigious dance venues in London, The Place. Together with 10 other working children, the boys were plucked from the streets of Addis Ababa and whisked to England to take part in an intensive six-year dance course. The first time I was introduced to the dance when I was 12. Now I'm 30, like, you know, 18 years, it's, it's a long process. We've been so many things, like, you know, sometimes I don't remember what I did and who I met and where I've been. Uh, unless, like, you know, whenever there is, like, this kind of conversation, and you just see it on the telly and you start, oh yeah, I also did this, we also went there, and this, this, this. This is something I never thought about, like this, it, it was not in my plan. It may not have been part of their plan, but today, Adisu and Junaid are not only professional dancers, but also choreographers and teachers. Uh, we, we've got like uh, a company in Ethiopia called Adunia Dance Company. Whatever, whoever goes out, you know, need to bring the, the experience that we had from outside into Ethiopia and then also work in Ethiopia and then take the experience uh, abroad like we did it in here or in France or in different places in the world. Adisu and Junaid are once again working with Dance United. The same people held the pair out of poverty and into the heart of the dance community. Their story represents just about everything that you can do with dance. Uh, I mean, their story is where Dance United began, and I think it's everything about Dance United stands for. And according to Adisu, their story has far from ended. It's not just me and Junaid, and that's it. We want more Junaid and Adisu, and it needs to continue, it needs to happen. We need to give more chances to others too. That's what we believe here. Yeah.